throughout his big league career to be a true professional. And he almost always lives up to expectations and does what the organization expects of him. But that can be tough to find in a ball player sometimes. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And as a baseball fan, it's fun to watch this guy pitch. As a hitter, when he's bringing it at 102, that part's not so fun. Stepping in now, Richard Crozier. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Batting average down in the low 210s. Two home runs and five driven in. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Struck him out, and there it is. Strikeout number 5,000 in his brilliant career. And there it is. Career strikeout number 5,000. This crowd is understandably buzzing, and there he goes, tipping his hat to acknowledge a great applause. What a moment for all of us. And I'm going to bet you that there are several teams out there whose entire pitching staff doesn't even come close to 5,000 strikeouts combined. But here he is, notching 5,000 Ks all on his own. Now the big... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. We've played an inning. No score. Woody Crump will dig in for the first time, and he'll do so right at the 300 mark for the year. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he needed just a little help to get out of that seven. <laughs> Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Good morning, baseball fans. Great Sunday action lies ahead, but first, here's what happened in Major League Baseball on Saturday. Starting out in the NL West, the Padres paid visit to the D-backs in the Valley of the Sun, and it was the Diamondbacks who came out on top, the final 6-4. to four. The Los Angeles Dodgers were in Denver to take on the Colorado Rockies, and it was the Dodgers who came out on top. The final score was 5-2. to two. The Miami Marlins paid visit to AT&T Park to battle with the Giants, and it was the Giants who came away with the win. The score was 8-5. Chet Prado launched a pair of home runs and drove in four along the way. The Braves were in D.C. to take on the Nationals, and the Braves came away with the win. The final score was 6-2. Rafael Velasquez was a force at the plate, driving in three runs. The New York Mets took on the Phillies in the city of brotherly love, and it was the Phils who grabbed the victory. The score was 2-1. to one. The Chicago Cubs were in Milwaukee to take on the Brewers, and it was the boys from North